हेलो स्टूडेंट लेट एस स्टार्ट अवर डिस्कशन सो इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर और इन प्रीवियस ट्यूटोरियल वी हैव डिस्कस द माइक्रो प्रोग्राम कंट्रोल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो देर वी हैव डिस्कस वेरियस कंपोनेंट्स लाइक नेक्स्ट एड्रेस सिक्वेंसर नेक्स्ट एड्रेस जनरेटर मीन सिक्वेंसर देन कंट्रोल एड्रेस रजिस्टर देन कंट्रोल मेमोरी इन कंट्रोल डेटा रजिस्टर सो आफ्टर डिस्कसिंग दैट लेट एस ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट हाउ सिक्वेंसर वर्क वाई बिकॉज Uh, in that tutorial, we have mentioned that uh, sequencer is a key part of the microprogram controller unit. Now, uh, let us just try to understand that uh, how uh, address sequencing will take place. So, uh, let us start with uh, simple understanding. Yes. So, uh, let us uh, try to discuss the first terminology that is routine. So, whenever any instruction will be executed for each instruction there will be a routine inside the micro program control unit or we can say control memory so uh, let us uh, try to understand that what is the meaning of this routine okay so for example each instruction will pass through following phase first one is fetch second is decode third is calculate effective address of operand if it is memory reference instruction and fourth is execute instruction now we know that uh, if it is not like that that any instruction will be executed in single clock cycle okay we have discussed that there are uh, we are having timing signal for ranging from t0 to t15 so all the instruction must be over uh, by t15 so it will start with t0 so there will be some set of operation in timing signal t0 then some uh, next uh, next step of or next set of operation in t1 and then in next uh, set of operation in t2 likewise so that is how the instruction will be executed so uh, let us just uh, understand that there will be a routine means set of instruction for fetching and decoding okay so that will be routine one all the instruction will pass through this routine okay where instruction will be fetched uh, and decoded then next routine will be for calculate the effective address this is applicable in case of uh, memory reference instruction only now in case of uh, indirect addressing mode we have to retrieve the effective address of operand okay so there will be some set of instruction or set of operations that uh, should be performed or micro instruction uh, should be executed so uh, this task can be over and at last there will be execute the instruction routine 3 now if it is memory uh, if it is register reference or it is io reference instruction then what will happen it will start with routine 1 but uh, there is no need to interact with the memory so it will skip this routine 2 and then it will directly go to routine 3 okay so it is not mandatory that all, every time all the code will be used uh, if we have seen the instruction cycle if you try to recall the instruction cycle then uh, there we have discussed that at t3 uh, in uh, io and in the register reference instruction instruction will be executed while in case of memory reference instruction it is still in the uh, calculate effective address of operand okay and in uh, io this will be done in t3 while in uh, memory reference instruction it will start from t3 now most of the register reference and input reference uh, input uh, output instructions are single clock cycle instructions so 
those will be executed in one step okay but in case of uh, memory reference instruction if you try to recall the let's say uh, end or add okay so then the first step was getting the operand into data register okay second step was performing the end operation and setting sequence counter to zero okay clear so at that time we have learned that uh, this is how uh, instruction will be executed but where these details will be stored okay so this detail about a specific instruction will be stored into the routine of individual instruction okay so uh, step by step uh, all the uh, operations will be performed and that's how an instruction will be executed so for a user or for a programmer it is a simple instruction they they will write simply and okay and a 12 bit address that's it but in background uh, there will be first uh, fetch and decode routine will be executed so sequence of those operations will be specified by uh, routine one uh, for example if you try to recall then uh, pc2 ar it was at t0 then at uh, t1 i think uh, uh, ir equals to m of ar and pc equals to pc plus one okay there this was the t0 then this was the t1 then in t2 ar equals to ir of 0 to 11 and uh, then uh, i equals to ir of 15 and uh, decode the instruction using bit number 12 13 14 okay so now it is simple uh, fetch and decode okay but if you try to calculate the number of operation okay then this is the uh, first operation second operation third operation fourth operation fifth operation sixth operation so there are total six operation in fetch and decode instruction okay fetch and decode phase of instruction so where all this detail will be stored it will be stored into the routine of fetch and decode okay if addressing mode is indirect then again there will be routine for calculating the effective address and uh, at last there will be routine for individual instruction okay so there will be uh, in, in the execution will be divided into three part first for routine one next routine two routine three more detail we will see in uh, upcoming video where we will try to understand the uh, micro program example okay clear with this yes so uh, obvious question will be like uh, then how we can find out that which instruction is located on which location all this thing okay so uh, while we will provide operation detail uh, to control unit means opcode computer will uh, convert that opcode into address of control memory clear with this yes so the conversion of this opcode to address of control memory it is known as mapping process clear so uh, mapping will be the way using which computer will convert that uh, opcode into the address of control memory <coughs> now as you can see here in control memory we will simply specify the control address register means that address we will specify and directly the control word or micro operation will be forwarded from the control memory there will be no need of any uh, control data register 
okay simply uh, that address or that word will be available uh, till the control address register is same okay next clock cycle there will be new address into this control address register and uh, then uh, there will be a new micro operation or you can say control word yes so uh, if we try to uh, understand this okay then what we can say that this if this is a sequencer okay let us assume this is the sequencer so uh, a sequencer should have capability okay so the uh, should have following capability okay first capability means inside individual register it should linear, linearly execute the uh, all the micro operation okay so it should have a capability of incrementer okay for example fetch and decode is having a uh, let's say step number one two three and four so uh, it should have a capability to execute step number two after one step number three after two step number four after three likewise means incrementing linearly okay next capability uh, it should have a uh, capability to jump to a specific location okay uh, whether it is condition based or it is uh, unconditional so um, for example uh, at the end of the decode routine uh, we came to know that uh, memory rep, uh, the instruction is having uh, indirect addressing mode okay so uh, for that we will having the routine 2 so in routine 2 let's assume that we are having 1 2 and 3 steps so after this 4 step it should be able to jump to this routine based on condition or if there is any other uh, unconditional uh, jump then it should be able to manage it okay so that is second second capability next capability uh, it should have capacity or it should have ability to convert opcode into control memory address uh, so that is known as mapping okay and uh, third third uh, or you can say next uh, capability let's see if there is any subroutine for example uh, there is a subroutine for interrupt there is common subroutine okay so whenever there will be interrupt there will be some uh, predefined set of steps that should be uh, executed let's say 1 2 3 4 5 6 so meanwhile these steps are uh, being managed if that at time there is an interrupt okay uh, so uh, there will be subroutine for interrupt so after uh, execution of interrupt one by one okay it should resume the previous stage so uh, it should have a subroutine uh, uh, call and return facility so there will be uh, a subroutine register as you can see in the figure sbr uh, which will store the return address so once we are done with the subroutine the return address will be written from the subroutine register so execution will be continue from where we have post okay so uh, uh, these are the four capability first one is a linear execution second one is a conditional jump okay uh, third one is mapping process means of code to address uh, fourth one is a, you can say subroutine call and return okay and in unconditional jump let's say uh, the instruction execution of instruction is over so it should go with the next instruction so again next instruction will start with the fetch and decode so that will be uh, the example of unconditional so it should have a capability of unconditional jump also okay so uh, in this uh, tutorial we will keep up to this uh, in next part or in second part we will learn uh, or we will understand how this circuit work thank you